Hey guys, it's Lisa Evans here, Scotland and West Ham forward. I know that we're not vlogging this week, so I thought it'd be really fun to do a Q&A instead. And you guys have sent in loads and loads of questions that I'm gonna answer. Sorry that I couldn't answer them all because there was just too many. Let's get cracking, let's see what you guys have to say. I haven't even touched the surface yet. That's pretty easy to be honest. That was very funny. This is tough. I don't wanna say food. Love them. All day, every day. Not gonna lie. That's five. Got there in the end. You have to enter Amosleb with five Arsenal and five West Ham teammates. Who are you picking? Right, here goes. I'm taking Katie McCabe, Arsenal, obviously. Beth Mead, Anna Patton, Viv Miedema, and, oh, this is tough. I'll take Kim. I'll take Kim just for, her. she's wise. I'll take Kim. And five West Ham, I'll go Mackenzie Arnold, Lois, Joel, 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 Fisky, Kate Longhurst and Dags. That is the 10 names. So hopefully they want to come with me. <laughs> never play football again or never drink tea again. That's pretty easy to be honest. I do love tea, but yeah, I could just go to coffee. So I'll say never drink tea again. What has been your best football experience? I would probably say playing in the Euros or the World Cup, one of them. I think qualifying for the World Cup was probably the most special moment of my footballing career. And not paparazzi, not paparazzi. Ah, we're going on the match pitch. <laughs> wow, look at this place. Wow. Can't wait to play here tomorrow. Wow, it's really kicking in now. Match day minus one today at this amazing stadium tomorrow night against England. It was just such a joyous occasion um, and we just had the best time ever. We had such a good party and yeah, I would probably say that. Stepping out onto the World Cup as well, playing England for the first first game, also good. Who is your closest national team teammate? So although she's not in the national team now, it has to be Emma Mitchell. Um, Emma Mitchell has been my lifelong best friend. Okay, me and Em's Mitch, because she's my best friend in the whole world. Am I your best friend? Yeah. We're going to do a best friends quiz and I'm probably going to win because I think I love you more than you love me. We'll soon find out. Don't want to get too emotional but yeah, hopefully she'll be back in the national team soon. Um, and yeah, I love being here with her and having all the fun with her. There is another bunch of great girls. I love Lee Alexander, Erin Cuthbert, but I have to say Mitch. Who is the biggest prankster besides you at West Ham? I'm not even a prankster at West Ham. I haven't even touched the surface yet, I feel like, but I'll probably go with Z. Um, Zanetta Wine, um, she's definitely a bit of a prankster, although she's not done much yet, but I think she's got stuff in the pipeline, so hopefully we'll see that. What is your favourite We Play Strong vlog moment? Oh my god, there's been a lot actually, there's been such good content. I think the whole time of us winning the league, doing the vlogs that day. <laughs> I would probably say that, although there has been a few funny pranks. Obviously the Halloween prank was funny. <laughs> the Patsy prank was funny. And you feel <laughs> yes! <laughs> I wanted to get you for so long! The taste challenge, that was very funny. Loved that with Mitch and Viv. Here's your little spoon, open up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, <then. laughs> oh, come on, don't be I'm not gonna open my mouth now. <laughs> that was probably my funniest uh, vlog, I think. Do you have any TV movie recommendations? So me and Viv have just actually finished Atypical. We absolutely loved it. So yeah, I highly recommend that if you don't have anything to watch right now, that's what I would say. What motivates you to work hard when injured? I don't want to say food. Um, yeah, I don't know, just to just seeing your teammates every day, knowing that you want to be back on the pitch as soon as possible. I think probably just seeing them having fun on the pitch without you, it just makes you want to be back out there with them. So. I'll probably say that. What is the best part of Scotland camps? 
I love Scotland camps, love them. I think it's just the team vibes. We have such a good team dynamic here. Kim Little, goal scorer in an interview. Goal scorer! <laughs> oh no, you should have your blog again. <laughs> Love you. Is that your daughter? Is your daughter? Is your daughter? I'm a <laughs> I was, it was perfect timing. And we all get on really well. It just doesn't matter who you're sitting beside at lunch, on the bus. You can just always have great chat, um, just good vibes in general. And honestly, love every minute of it. I think if you asked any of us, we'd all say the same. Unless probably they're, they're chatting about me, then they'd probably say they hate me, but hopefully not. If you could get any celebrity to join We Play Strong, who would it be? Taylor Swift, easy. Taylor Swift, all day, every day, Taylor Swift. Favourite Taylor Swift song? She's got so many good ones. I love all her albums, not gonna lie. I listen to her every single day going to train and I'm obsessed. But my favourite song, I think, or the one that I would like to perform at some point would be Out of the Woods. Uh, I love it. What's your favourite thing to do in Scotland? As you've probably seen, I love going hiking. Um, in lockdown, we did it quite a bit. But yeah, just going out on really nice walks. I, I sound really old saying that, but it's just so nice to get away and in the open and just forget everything, just forget your phone at home and yeah, just go hiking, love it. My dad would also say that because he comes with us as well. Who is the better cook, you or Viv? 100%, sorry Viv, I'm better than Viv. At the lentils, the lentils are- I will put them in later, I'm good. Oh, left. <laughs> What's happened with them? <laughs> right, don't be so violent. Goodness. That's like one of the only things I am better at Vivin and it's it is cooking. Sorry. She is she's an, she's not bad at all, but I'm better. Just saying. What is the biggest difference between playing the style at national team and club? Obviously like the system's different. At West Ham West Ham. West Ham we play yeah, we play a three five two. We play a lot of crossings the box, we play quite direct. I think at national team we play a lot more possession or try to play a lot, a lot more possession based football. Again, in a different formation, 4 3 3. I think that's changed a bit since Pedro's come in and took over. So, yeah, I'd probably say that is the biggest one. Favourite nan bread? <laughs> is this after my Dalin, Dalin uh, nan bread making? Probably. I love a Pushwari nan. I know it's like pretty controversial, but coconut Pushwari nan is my favourite. Love it. It's really sweet. Tastes amazing. Favourite Scotland strip? When I was growing up, I always wore the white one. White one with a blue kind of saltire on it. That was really cool. I remember having that on all the time. I also loved the pink one that we got to wear that was made for us at the World Cup. That was really cool. Who would make your five-a-side team? This is hard. I've played with a lot of good players. I'd probably put um, Alyssa Nair in goal. Sorry, Maka. Love you too, chick. Yeah, I played with Alyssa Nair in Turbina Potsdam and she probably was like, one of the best goalies out there that I've ever seen. She was absolutely crazy good. In the back line, I'll probably go for Marin Mielda. She's at Chelsea now, but obviously I played with her again um, in Turbina Potsdam and just absolutely sound like such a good player. Consistently good. Midfield, let's see, Kim Little has to be. Kim Little has to be in there. And I'd probably say Nadine Kessler. When she played in Germany, she was ultimate. Like, she was so, so good. I'll stick Viv up top. I mean, she's, she's decent enough. She'll get me a few goals. So that's one, two, three, four, one more. One more midfielder potentially. Have I even said? So Nadine Kessler, Kim Little, Viv, Marin Mielda, Alyssa Nair. Is that everyone? Is that five? That's five. Okay, I've got five. So yeah, that's my five. <laughs> got there in the end. That's it guys. That's all the questions. Um, yeah, thanks again for all your love and support. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you all soon, hopefully for some more vlogs. Bye.